hi guys you're welcome to another android tutorial we'll get to materialize an android application in which we'll be looking at the fully fledged android material design concept from navigation drawer to profile icon grid recycler view of image thumbnails from uh, the url whereby we have uh, we're going to be importing animal images from the lorium pixels.com the recycler view adapter a detailed activity showing the full grid images with a floating action button and snack bar all features will be using the android material design approach and flow i'll be moving straight to android studio where i have the application while in my build gradle module app session uh, i have the dependencies very important here recycler view version 7 24.0 the same thing goes for the card view the palette and the picasso from the square of the picasso these are all uh, 24.20 while the picasso is 2.40 you need to have these dependencies after doing that you have to synchronize your gradle script and you get your application set and ready in the rest i have the animation folder and the layout the menu and values where we have the string the dimension and the styles let's get to look at the layout where we have the activity detail the activity main draw header and the item is circular view this is how the application actually looks uh, the first launcher activity which is the main activity has the grid uh, items listed in tools and it has a navigation drawer by the left which is actually going to draw out and uh, get the profile menu and also some other menus right inside it uh, the grid item has the ability to have to, to set an click listener to that where we're going to have the detail activity whereby we, the picture the thumbnail picture will get larger and it's going to have some collapsing to uh, effects where we're going to have uh, the list item right in a card view of the detail activity. We'll get to look at that uh, right now. Let's quickly look at the activity bay, how it actually looks like this, the launch activity that houses the draw and also the coordinator layout. Uh, if you notice, there's a coordinator layout and it has the grid recycler view from, uh, from the class, which is actually sitting in the widgets directory. Uh, we have the app bar layout and uh, we have the toolbar which is from the support version 7 widget uh, a floating action button follows and uh, we have the closing coordinator layout and the navigation view which is actually for the navigation drawer uh, it's actually another model uh, of widget tag used uh, let's get to look at the activity detail is actually going to handle the larger screen of the picture and they also uh, handle some text uh, right inside the collapsing toolbar layout. This is a coordinator layout whereby we have the app bar layout as well. The collapsing, the collapsing toolbar layout follows uh, whereby it handles the square image view from the materialized app widgets. You know, we have that in the Java classes and we have the toolbar and the collapsible, the collapsing toolbar layout closing tag. The app bar also closing tag. There's a nested scroll view what about we have the card view you know the card view is housing a linear layout that has the text view inside the dirt so that's what the card view is actually doing here a closing card view and a closing frame layout all sitting in a nested scroll view widget tag a, flo a floating action button follows uh, and also we have the closing coordinator layer of the old xml uh, file let's get to look at the anim this is where we have the grid layout animation uh, where we talk about its apolators and uh, this is an animation that is going around it, top to the bottom left to right and I also have a sliding button where we're calling from the wild data and having a duration of each interpolator uh, animation let's get to look at Java class uh, where we have the Picasso and the widgets they are, these are all sub directory of the main directory and we have the detail activity, main activity, recycler view adapter, and the view model all inside this class. We'll be looking at the main activity. This main activity actually is the launch activity. Uh, we imported uh, the, the grid layout manager, the recycler view, and uh, also the circle transform. Uh, this is actually from the Picasso directory. Uh, we have the main activity that extends our part activity that implements recycler view adapter on item click listener. What about we have the avatar URL of the profile picture? 
uh, this is actually a, a Lorem Pixel uh, profile picture we used and uh, we have the, the static method which is a for loop whereby we have a counter variable and uh, we have to check for 10 items and we have to iterate by one so this is going to get once it gets to false the loop is going to stop and it's actually going to call the animals pictures the same from the Lorem pixels uh, directory this is a link where we actually get those pictures uh, imported we have the draw layout the recycler view and the navigation view are uh, all fields being created the uncreate method call on super uncreate we set the content view to the layout activity main what about we call the method init recycler view init fab init toolbar setup drawer these are all methods that were used we also need to instantiate the content we'll find the view by id the content and we have the image view of the avatar now we need to instantiate the avatar well we get the id avatar we have to cast it to picasso picasso will need to load this for us because picasso is what we use in loading the pictures from the URL link and also the avatars and uh, well we have the on enter animation complete it's going to set the recycler adapter to the recycler view object created uh, we have the init recycler view uh, whereby we create an object called recycler view uh, we get it, the id from the xml and we set a layout manager to this recycler view passing the grid layout manager you can see how we pass the grid layout manager uh, using this keyword which is this particular class and uh, we give two to each grid there are two side by side we have the on set recycler adapter whereby we set an on item click listener to each uh, recycler view adapter uh, this is where uh, we actually have it uh, they click up on and whereby we're going to call uh, on item click here to the detail activity you now you get to see that we have the init fab which is actually handling the snack bar and we have the init toolbar uh, that is actually uh, the top bar of this particular uh, UI which is like the action bar you know uh, where we use action bar in activity now we use a toolbar right in material designs we get to set up the draw layout as well where we get the ID draw layout we cast it to an object draw layout being created we also have the navigation view uh, the same thing happened where we uh, call it ID from the XML and we set the navigation on item selector listener to this whereby we have a snack bar whereby the menu item and the draw layout you close the draw and then, you know you get to open and close all right that's what is actually going on there we have an option item selected in uh the drawers you know this is where you have to list uh the cases that you really want to handle and the ensuing activities that will be handling each item click of the menu you know you get to handle them in the on options item selected now let's get to look at the detail activity this detail activity is actually going to handle the larger picture and also give us then uh, the ability to have a text view right inside the card uh, layout you no know, this is where we call in picasso where we have the picasso callback and picasso itself the upcombat and now we still need uh, to pass the in intent and we have to put some extra if you understand this by now how to put some extra that's how to pass in uh, a particular data right from the first activity to another activity that's when you need to put extra to each intent in this we have to get the image and get the text of each particular uh extra that is being uh called you know there's when we have to get the support action button of the toolbar we set the display home as up enabled we have the collapsing toolbar layout uh we set the tie to and we set the expand dead tie to color uh, this is where we load picasso you know to actually get the picture the image we get the drawable and also we need a palette uh, from the bitmap to actually load up uh, the picture we have to call the text the text with title this is the title of uh, the text we set the text to the item title uh, we have to apply palette here whereby we call on the collapsible tuba layout to set the content screen color and the status screen color these are what has been done and the update background call on the floating action button we call this id fab I will pass it to the palette so these are just making the swivel cool whereby you once you scroll up uh the uh, picture is going to cover up and the slide the collapsing toolbar is going to fill up and the toolbar layout uh, which is the top bar 
is going to stand visible. Uh, this is just what this uh, is actually explaining. Uh, we have the Picasso here, which uh, actually transformed the circle of the uh, profile, you know, it's, uh, the image to circle of the profile, you know, which is actually sitting in the drawer. However, we do some mathematical uh, calculation here to get the minimum weight tonight, and we cast it to the X and Y coordinate or axis, if you can say. Now, let's get to look at the manifest. This manifest is going to be quite simple and the same, where we have the permission internet. Very important. You need to put your internet permission here. And look at how this activity is being locked in. The, de the detailed activity is the Android name. It has a parent activity name, which is the main activity. And the metadata of this particular activity is gotten from the Android support parent activity, which is the value is the main activity. You should know how to actually include this uh, detailed activity of the grid uh, item. You know, is when the grid item top there is being clicked that the detailed activity is going to be triggered. I'll be showing the screencast of this particular uh, application so that we get to see how the UI is, uh, is being uh, uh, look and how it flows so that you get to uh, uh, use your no the Android, Android material design functionality right in your application. You get to use uh, the Picasso load of pictures to grid view or to grid layout manager. You know, you use grid layout manager as well to actually make it look uh, splendid and display. And you also improve on it whereby you have a click on each uh, grid and this takes us down to a larger picture which is a detailed activity whereby we use the card view to hold on to the text and also a collapsible uh, layout to actually make a swivel and we also use a parallax to the picture whereby a swivel to the top and just bring back the toolbar and the picture disappears that's what that's doing is a full-fledged uh material design flow and I will implore you to actually pick up the source code which I'll also be uploading to my GitHub account and get it from there. I'm showing the screencast from here. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout the session. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.